You are listening and watching to a very special podcast. Here we have more on Maggie Wolf. Enjoy. They're still in that little rabbit hole. But things are about to get emotional. Please proceed with caution. Pansy was feeling tired. She walked over to the bed and she was about to fall asleep after getting under the covers and plopping her head on the pillow when she heard a sweet sounding familiar voice. Uh, Pansy? Pansy groaned. <sighs> she didn't want her groan to be heard. It was soft, tender, but she was really annoyed. Uh, are you, are you sleeping? I was going to. What is it? Pansy asked. Yuichi was a little nervous. Pansy couldn't help but feel irritated. But she managed to say, Come now, what is it? What do you need? That's when she heard a, a, some sort of rumbling in the room. It wasn't like an earth shake. An earthquake or anything. It was the sound of s something gurgling. Yoichi just hugged himself. <laughs> uh, I'm just a little bit hungry. That's not a little bit hungry. Uh, well, What do you want me to do about it? Pansy said, a little snarky. Um, well, uh, I was wondering if maybe if you know someone who can cook us something. I mean, I looked all around, but I don't think there's any food. I mean, it's not like you have any. No, no. But, uh, I couldn't find any. Sorry. Maybe you know someone that we can talk to? I'm sorry. I'm a bit hungry. Pansy was not in the mood. She was cranky. She was tired. She just wanted to take a nap. Why do you have to keep talking and talking and talking? Don't you ever shut up? Pansy snapped. Yoichi felt bad. Uh, I'm sorry. I need to take a nap. The least you can do is just respect that. Yoichi felt guilty. I'm sorry, Pansy. I w we were just uh, hungry. We can have something later if you want. Yoichi said brightly. Pansy stood up as she screamed, Oh really? If you're that hungry, why don't you just go and eat shit? Then she went back on her bed and plopped down. Yoichi's face crumpled. He looked heartbroken. He turned and he just walked off. He didn't say anything. Pansy cringed. But she was going to worry about it later. When she woke up, she was feeling a little bit better. She looked around. Where's the boy? Where's Yoichi? The corruption just pointed over, so she followed their pointing. Maggie looked up, glaring at her. What's wrong? How could you? Maggie said. What happened? You yelled at him. How could you? That wasn't nice to say. Seriously? He may be freaking 16, but he's a sensitive kid, you know. Did I hurt his feelings? I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean it, Pansy said. You know, you really shouldn't be so hard on him. 
Come on, give the guy a break. Give us a break. Come on, we're starving here. We had to get Yoichi to ask you because he's nicer. If any of us did, you would probably yell at us, huh? Or maybe we would have done something to provoke you, Lola said. Kamizuki just looked at Pansy with a glare. Pansy grunted, Ugh, Don't look at me like that! I think you should go and apologize, he said. D did I really hurt his feelings? I didn't... We're glad you're feeling better, but I think somebody else needs some comfort. Where is he? Maggie stood up. Come on. He's, um... He's over here. Pansy hurried over. Yoichi's back was only turned, but... He looked like he was shaking a bit. Yoichi? Pansy called. Yoichi jumped. His eyes were full of tears. But he just brushed them away. Oh, uh... Hi, uh, I was just feeling a little chilly, that's all. Uh, it's all right, he said. He was trying to smile, but the tears on his face didn't help. Pansy looked guilty. Uh, are you okay? I, I didn't, I... Pansy said, don't worry about me. I'm all right. <laughs> Really, I am. I... <laughs> I'm, o I'm okay. Yoichi tried to say, but he was crying so much. Pansy couldn't help but cry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to yell that. I just... I was just so cranky. I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. What can I do to make you feel better? I have an idea. I know someone who's a really good cook. I'll cook you something, alright? What do you want? Oh, anything you want, okay? I'll make you a really big feast. Would that be okay? Pansy said while crying. Yoichi shook his head. No, I don't want you to go through all that trouble. I'm, I'm fine, really. No, you're not. No, you're not. Pansy said. She was rubbing her eyes. I just want to make you happy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She went over to hug Yoichi. Yoichi didn't want to resist, so he hugged her back. Yoichi couldn't help but started crying. It's okay. I forgive you. I forgive you. It's okay. Maybe I shouldn't. No, 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 no. It was my fault, okay? This has nothing to do with you. Just then, the corruption appeared. And they mocked Yoichi a bit. What in the world? He's crying? He's supposed to be a boy, the others were saying. Men shouldn't cry. Well, of course they cannot. They must be stronger than this. What a weak little man. Pansy growled at them. Shut up, all of you. How dare you mock this young man. Boys can cry. How dare you mock him? Do you have any idea what the hell he's been through? If you mock this young man again, I will have no other choice but you'll face the punishment. The corruption cringe. They suddenly bow their heads and apologize. Oh, sorry, Miss Pansy. Have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. We didn't mean to mock him. We didn't mo mean to have mercy on us. The others were saying, Yes, forgive us, Miss Pansy. 
forgive us, Pansy Fury. We do not want to face your rage again. We will be nice to Yoichi Sayatomi. Honest. Good. Now where's the cook? The cook is on break. How long was his break? Thirteen minutes, of course. Good. Tell him to come out of his break. Make him a nice feast. I'm making up to this boy and I am not leaving until he is given a proper meal. Do you understand me? Pansy said. The others agreed. Yes, we will fetch the cook at once. The servant said. Now get to it. Right away. Right this minute. Thank you. Pansy was trying her best not to cry too much. Uh, everything is going to be all right, my dear boy. Okay? I want to give you all the love you deserve. All the love. <laughs> Everything's going to be just fine. I'm going to give you a nice, proper meal. I'll give you all the meals. Anything you want. Just like we used to give to the children. <laughs> children? The, the ones that the vampires would refer to them as livestock. Well, no livestock anymore. We have taken them. And now they're, they're, they'll be given a better life. A, a really better life. We have given them plenty. And they'll never be weak from all of that drained of blood again. It's like those vampires are the violators trying to take away their innocence. It's just so painful. I promise I would never fail another child again. <sighs> Uh-oh. Looks like someone's got some explaining to do, Maggie said. Yoichi chuckled. <laughs> that she does. Yep. I got all day. <laughs> <laughs> That's it for now. Crazy, isn't it? But anyway, hope you guys enjoy it. See you next time. Bye.